Hello, and thanks for joining me for children's worship today. I want to especially welcome the kids who I already know. So, a hi to Truman, Sagan, and Toby. Hello to Cynthia, Abigail, and Charlotte. Hello to Caden, Calvin, and Teddy. Hi to Dax, Grace, and Josie. And hi to Marika and Eva. I am so glad we can all worship together, even though we're not in the same place in person. A special hello also to any guests watching with us today too. If you'd like me to say a special hello to you too, just have your parents email me, children at bellevuecrc.org and tell me your name and I'd be happy to add you. My name is Miss Hannah and I'm joining you from the worship center here at Bellevue CRC. You can see behind me, we have lots of things here that make it a special place to be with God. Even though you're not here in the same place as me, God can make any place special for us to worship him. Remember, wherever we are, in this place, we have all the time we need, so we don't need to hurry. We can walk more slowly, and we can talk more softly, because God can hear us no matter how loudly or softly we speak. This is a special place to be with God, to talk with God, to listen to God, and to hear the special stories of God. So, we need to get ready to be in such a special place to be with God. You can get ready all by yourself. You don't need me to tell you to get ready, but I can show you how I get ready to be with God. All right, will you join me with, for our special Easter greeting? Remember, this is where I say, Christ, is risen. And you say, the Lord is risen indeed. Sorry, I mixed up my fingers a little bit. All right, let's take a look at our special church season calendar called the liturgical calendar. This week, we get to still celebrate Easter. But do you see how this is the very last day I have on this calendar. And notice the color is going to change next week. It's going to be a new season, a special day to celebrate. And I think I got a little bit excited last week. And I said it was going to be this week, but I was just so excited. Um, I was a week ahead. So next week, we're going to have another one of these special days. I like to think of it as like a birthday of the church. So I want you to pay special attention next week at the banner behind me and all the colors you'll see it's going to be different. But right now notice it's white and colorful and more white and we have flowers all to celebrate, to continue celebrating Easter. And this is a special Easter season, but we as Christians always get to celebrate Easter too. Every Sunday we remember how important it is that God died, but then he rose again. All right, let's sing a few songs together, shall we? I have a sort of a quiet song I'd like to start with today. And some of you might be familiar with it. And I think we probably know most of the motions. It's called Father, I Adore You. I'm going to teach you a few new motions so that we can do the whole song together. So Father is just putting your thumb by your forehead like this. And you can tap it or just get really close to it. Father, we, so you can point to yourself, do like a circle. Adore is fun. You kind of make praying hands, but one holding the other, you can go like this, adore. Father, we adore. And then the word is you, and we point up to heaven. Lay our life, so we go like this, lay our life, and for life, you may remember this if you were in Sunday school this year, we learned this motion, you do two L's like this, and then you go all the way down and out. Lay 
lay our life before you. And we're going to point to the sky again. How we love you. And the next verse is Jesus. We adore you. So we're just going to do Jesus, how we know Jesus, because of the um, wounds in his hands. Jesus, we adore you. Lay our life before you. How we love you. The last verse is the same words except for spirit. I like the spirit when you put your one hand out and then you take your other hand and you act like kind of do squiggles in the air. Spirit. Because a spirit is something we use, we can't see. So I kind of like this visual of spirit. Would you sing it with me? Father, we adore you. Lay our life before you. How we love you. Jesus, we adore you. Lay our life before you. How we love you. Spirit, we adore you. Lay our life before you. How we love you. Thank you. Let's do Jesus Loves Me. That's an oldie but a goodie. Let's do it. Ready? Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, he who died. Heaven's gate to open wide. He will wash away my sin. Let the little child come in. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Great. I want to do the second verse to see if we can keep remembering that one. It's so important. Now, the next one I'd like to sing is, My God is so great. And you might want to stand up for this one. I'm going to stay here so that you can see me do the actions better. But you might want to stand up and get some wiggles out as we do some motions together. Are you ready? My God is so great. So strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are His, the rivers are His, the stars are His handiwork too. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you and you and me too. Great job. All right, now we're going to switch gears here a little bit and start thinking about calming down and being ready to hear God's special story for us today. And remember, one way we do that is we sing, Be Still and Know. Let's sing it together. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Now, boys and girls, today is a very unique lesson and that I'm going to be using a real candle with a real flame. And I'm going to be very careful. 
I want you to remember that this is not something that you should be doing by yourself, but it, you would need, always need a grown up to help you. If you were here with me in person, I'd be here at the table and have you sitting on the floor being very, very careful not to get too close and not to touch anything. This is the season of Easter when we celebrate the mystery that Jesus died and God made him alive again. Now, today is another special day. It's Ascension Sunday when we celebrate another mystery, the mystery that Jesus went away so that he could be with us always in every place, at home, at school, at church, wherever we are, all the time. The Christ candle helps us remember the mystery of Easter. When there is no light, we say Christ has died. But Jesus is alive. God raised Jesus from the dead. And so we say, Christ is risen. Jesus was alive again. One day he said to his friends, stay in Jerusalem. God will send you a special gift, the gift of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will give you power, power to tell everyone about me and the kingdom of God. I am going away. You will not see me anymore but I will be with you always, in every place, in every time, and I will come back again. Then Jesus disappeared into a cloud. See the smoke? Hmm. This is the mystery of ascension. Jesus went away, but somehow he is still with us. And Christ will come again. Hmm. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. This This is the mystery of the Ascension. Now, boys and girls, I wonder how Jesus' friends felt when Jesus went away. I bet they were a little bit sad. Yeah, maybe even a little bit scared. I wonder if they kept looking for Jesus. I wonder how they knew that Jesus was still with them, just like that smoke from the candle. Hmm. I wonder how they felt when Jesus told them that God was going to give them a very special gift of the Holy Spirit. 
Maybe they were excited. Gifts are fun. But maybe they were a little bit anxious, a little bit scared, because they didn't know quite what that meant. I wonder what they're going to do with that gift. Boys and girls, do you have any wondering questions about the story? Thank you. All right, welcome back. That is a very important, but a little bit of a different story for our children's worship using that candle in a more figurative way. Um, I have some activity suggestions for you and I've emailed your parents some of these things. Again, if you don't get that email, just email me, children at bellevuecrc.org. And here is one of the things that you can make. This is something that you don't need a lot of supplies for at home. So I hope that you have paper and maybe crayons or something. And if you want to, you can even add cotton balls to the cloud here. But what you'll get is you'll get this piece of paper and you'll color it. These are Jesus' disciples up on the mountain where he told them to go. And there's a verse at the top that says he, is, he was taken up into a cloud while they were watching and they could no longer see him. Acts 1 verse 9. And I'll show you how I put this together. So I took the little picture of Jesus and the cloud. Okay. And Jesus is already colored, so you don't have to color that. And I cut them out, and you can be careful and close, so you can do it kind of basic. Like, I was just kind of, I just cut around Jesus a little bit. And there's a spot to put a hole at the bottom and the top. You put the little holes in. You tie a string, and I've taped it on the back. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky. For Jesus... I just added one little piece of white paper and I taped the sides of it down. So that way, when it's on the string like this, it can still move up and down. And for the cloud, you could glue it, but you'd have to be really careful to glue it just on the sides. But I taped it because I thought it was a little bit easier. And then, because of how careful I was taping Jesus on the string and taping the cloud, I can sort of reenact the story where Jesus was talking to them on the mountain. And then all of a sudden, as he was talking to them, he disappeared. You can't see him in the cloud anymore. So that's pretty simple. Does not take a lot of complicated supplies. But you may have done something like this last year, because I think it's similar, or might even be the same printout that we used last year. So if you want something a little more advanced, or if you have some in of these other supplies at home, you could do this. I used the same printouts. But I also used a cup, just a paper cup, and a straw. And I know we might not, you might not have straws at home, but if you happen to have some, this is another cool thing you could do. So I took the cup and I colored it different colors of blue and I added some cotton balls to make it look like clouds up here. I also have scripture verse here from the story. I used the same Jesus cutout. But here's where it changes. So I put the hole at the top of this cup and I put my string through and I wanted to make sure to have two strings coming out. So I tied a knot and taped it at the top. Two strings. And this is where you need the straw. I taped the straw on the back of Jesus. And then this is a tricky part. You'll probably need a grown up's help. I put the string inside through the straw. And then on each string, I tied a little piece of the straw as sort of my handles. So this is gonna be a little bit tricky, but I wanted to show you how this works. See Jesus? You pull. And as you pull each string, he goes up. He kind of floats up into the cloud. So that's a cool thing you can do. I also have brand new this year, a couple of these beautiful coloring pages. This one comes from John 14 verses 1 through 14. It says, do not let your hearts be troubled. This is what more close to an actual heart looks like. So it's not just the simple design that we do, but this is what an actual heart looks like. So that's kind of cool. And maybe if you're into science, 
that'll be kind of a fun one for you. And this is another quote later in the story from John 14, verses 15 through 21. The Spirit, God will give you another advocate, the Spirit of truth. God abides with you. And this is a nice artistic vision of the Holy Spirit as a dove. So those are a couple of pictures that you can color. There's a lot of opportunity to be creative and um, use whatever colors you like. Of course, just like every week, there are so many other things you could do. For example, maybe you want to make a special snack. One idea I found was to make blue jello with whipped cream to symbolize the clouds and the sky. Um, maybe you have special figurines, little people that you want to work with. Maybe you want to pretend to light a candle and look at the smoke, or maybe you want to draw a picture of a candle or anything else that you thought about with this story. Let's gather back together now for our final circle time, and we're going to sing some songs and read the Bible, and then we get to pray together. So let's start with singing a song called Soon and Very Soon. I'm going to teach you a few motions for this one, okay? Can you show me the okay? side. You put your thumb and you point your finger together in a circle. Okay. So this is how we sign soon. We touch our chin or very close to our chin. Soon. And very soon. So we're going to use a sign that we've done for indeed, which is means sort of it is true or it's really true. So we're going to use that same sign for very. Soon and very soon. So you make your okay sign soon and very soon. And the next part is we are going to see the king. So this song is about how Jesus is coming back, right? So he promised he's leaving, but he will come back. So we, we can point to ourselves and everybody else, we are going. So going, you're going to put one finger up in the sky like this. And this is kind of like we're the little finger here. And that's God up there. So we're going up to him. We are going to see the king. And we know king. You take the K sign and you make a sash from your left shoulder down to your right hip. So I'll, let's do the motions again. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the king. Great. And we're going to sing some alleluias. We are going to see the king. The second verse is that there's no more crying there. Okay, so we're going to say no crying there. Okay, no crying there. We are going to see the king. And it repeats that. And then, of course, we'll do the alleluias. We are going to see the king. The next one is no more dying there. So no, then dying, you put one hand up, one hand down, you flip them both. No more dying there. We'll point up to the sky where God is, okay? Where Jesus went, right? So no dying there. We are going to see the king. And then of course, alleluia. All right, so those are all the three verses. And you can work on focusing on the words and the singing, or you can focus on the motions. And if you want to real challenge, you can try to do both. Let's try to sing it together. Remember the first verse is um, soon and very soon, we are going to see the king. Ready? Soon and very soon, we are going to see the king. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the king. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the king. Alleluia, alleluia, we are going to see the king. No more crying there. No more crying there. We are going to see the king. No more crying there. We are going to see the king. No more crying there. 
we are going to see the king. Alleluia, alleluia, we are going to see the king. No more dying there, remember dying. No more dying there, we are going to see the king. No more dying there, we are going to see the king. No more dying there, we are going to see the king. Alleluia, alleluia, we are going to see the king. Thanks so much. I really like that song, and it's a great reminder that Jesus is in heaven and he is the ruler of the earth. Let's sing the B I B L E, celebrating the Bible, and that will help us get ready for reading the scripture from this story from the Bible together. The B I B L E, yes, that's the book for me. I'll stand alone on the Word of God, the B I B L E. This story. The ascension of Jesus can be found in several places in the Bible. You can read the story in Luke 24, verses 44 through 53, in John chapters 14 through 17, and in Acts 1, verses 1 through 11. We're going to look at the story in Acts 1, and I'm actually going to skip ahead to verse 7. We're going to read Acts 1, verses 7 through 11. He said to them, it is not for you to know the times or dates the Father has by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. After he said this, he was taken up before their eyes and a cloud hid them from their sight. They were looking intently up into the sky as he was going, when suddenly two men dressed in white stood beside them. Men of Galilee, they said, why do you stand here looking into the sky? This same Jesus who has been taken from you into heaven will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. What a promise we have that Jesus has gone to heaven, but he is coming back again. Now it's time for our prayer time. And I'd like you to think about two different groups of things. I'd like you to think about first, some good ways we see God's work here on earth. So Jesus was with us in person and he did leave us with the Holy Spirit to help guide us and for bringing God's kingdom here on earth. What are some good blessings in your life or in those lives of people around you where you see God's hand of love? Maybe you see the beauty of the outdoors. Maybe you see the love of your family, the love of your pets. Maybe you even see the love of people you are not with right now, families and friends through phone, or maybe seeing them on the screens. There are many things that God has blessed us with. Now, sometimes we don't feel God's presence and God's love so close. Sometimes there are things or people or situations that we want to bring to God to ask him for his help and to ask him for his special love and care where we see the need for him. Where do you see a special need for Jesus' love? Maybe you see a special need in your life. Maybe you see a special need for healing, a healing of our bodies, or maybe a healing of relationships. Thank you for sharing. Now we're going to pray together. And remember, you may pray out loud for some of those things. Maybe you've just thought of them. Maybe you said them out loud. 
but you can say them in your heart too, because God can hear you, whether you say it out loud or very, very quietly, or even just in your heart. Will you pray with me? Dear Lord, we thank you for the mystery of Easter, where Jesus died, but you made Jesus alive again. We thank you for the mystery of the ascension, where you brought Jesus back in honor to heaven. Lord, we thank you for all these wonderful ways that we see your love and that your hand in our world. And you can say those things you're thankful for now, boys and girls. But Lord, sometimes we feel like the disciples when you left, and we might feel a little bit sad that you feel far away. Lord, we feel far away from you when we see sadness and hurt, and we see situations that need your love and special care. And Lord, we bring those to you now, and boys and girls, you can say those things out loud or in your heart. God, we thank you that you are with us. Even if we can't see you in person, but you have left your, your Holy Spirit here. And you are in charge. You reign from heaven, even over the earth. And we thank you so much for loving us and everybody. Amen. Let's sing one of our going away songs, our goodbye songs. And it's Go Now in Peace. I love singing this as a round in person, but we'll just have to imagine, or maybe you want to start after me so it's more of a round, okay? Go now in peace, go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go. Thank you for worshiping with me today and spending this time together. God be with you.